Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown for the week of July 10th to July 15th, 2017. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to ADAPT2030 and click the bell so you can stay subscribed and get the latest updates. What's happening to the wind down in Australia? Wind generation at five-year lows. They call it the electricity train wreck. Spiking prices for consumers. And CISRO, talking about how global warming is going to create more wind in Australia. How did they get that so wrong? You know, every single grand solar minimum, the intertropical convergent zone shifts. And the only thing happening is wind companies are losing billions Australians are getting higher prices for electricity. The temperatures are dropping. The anomalies, cold versus hot. And look for Australia to be one of the first G20 nations to collapse based on increasing energy prices and increasing food prices. It's already showing a drag on the economy. To watch businesses close left, right, and center. Here's the forecast out for the grand solar minimum. They're going to track down pretty much like this chart here over to the guardian butter prices at all-time high they're predicting a butter shortage by christmas and as i've been saying start to look for the signs the prices of your food are going to start increasing especially at the end of the year when the wheat and the barley harvest come in that are going to be far below what the predictions were by even the most conservative experts here now butter prices soaring more than 20 percent in the uk to all-time highs and then in that same article at the bottom, some links to a couple of older articles here, 2015 dairy farmers in despair didn't even make sense for them to milk the cows because it was so cost inefficient. The ROI put them into negative territory. What a difference two years makes. And then the dairy price wars in 2014 almost put these same farmers out of business. But wait until this next year, what one single year of difference is going to bring on the price of our food globally. Now, in my channel, I focus on weather extremes brought about by the grand solar minimum, the intensification of the 400 year cycle of our sun having effects on our jet stream, the intertropical convergence zone and how it's going to shift weather patterns. Here we go, front page news on the LA Times. Thousands of cows die in California due to the heat wave. But I want you to remember this, disposing of them becomes a problem. We're trying to actually water the cows to keep them cool, just like they would do with stranded dolphins or stranded whales on the beach. They're actually putting sprinklers out to cool the cattle down. Now what's happening, the carcasses are piling up and the rendering plants where they need to dispose of these animals are overflowing literally with dead cows in this scorching heat. Literally, they're exploding from the methane gases releasing when they go try to touch these cows, kaboom, they're exploding. But high and low, I have been unable to find pictures of these carcasses that are piling up. I have these stories that are being passed through social media, but I just don't see any images. But hold that thought for a moment problems disposing of them the infrastructure now let's jump over to natural news freak snowstorm destroys a hundred million pounds of onions in idaho and oregon this was in may and what had happened there was such heavy such wet snow that it collapsed warehouses and different onion storage facilities and because all these onions had spoiled unbeknownst to myself i didn't know there's an onion maggot which tends to then thrive because it has such a large food source that it can then infect healthy fields later on. So the government requires if there's any types of these tonnages of spoiled onions, they have to be disposed of literally proper federally regulated disposal facilities. But we find the exact same thing that these disposal facilities were overwhelmed with the losses. Now they're being overwhelmed with the cattle that they can't dispose of. They even called it a minor miracle that the cold onions could even be disposed of. A hundred million pounds of onions is no easy task. And I wanted to drive the point home. And here we have two instances of something that can contaminate 
the rest of a healthy crop or a rest of a healthy herd that our infrastructure is already being overwhelmed and we're not even really overwhelmed yet when we get into the depths of this grand solar minimum and just a couple years from now 2019 2020 the overwhelming is going to be absolutely paralyzing if we're already being paralyzed at this minimal level i can't imagine what it's going to be like when it gets into something much greater than this New high-res images of Jupiter's superstorm, the red spot. Speaking of crazy storms, hail is size of pool balls in Alberta, Canada. And last week I did a story on persistent contrails in cosmic radiation management. Viewers sent me this flight path. Also during Janet Yellen's press conference, check out the guy holding up the buy Bitcoin sign. A guy checks a single can of beer as his luggage. Successful journey. And a rare pink grasshopper spotted in a Dutch town. Climate Central, sinking Atlantic coastline, meets rapidly rising seas. The Western Atlantic, which is the east coast of the U.S., is three times as severe as elsewhere. They even show it on the map. I want you to notice around point 14 and 15. New Island, off of Cape Point, exactly where they're showing declines. There's increases in land mass. Oh yeah, those are the king tides. Those come yearly, and they have for thousands of years. We even project it 50 years into the future. And join me for Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 25, when Lee Wheelbarger and myself talk about agriculture during the Grand Solar Minimum, and some influences you might look for in crop losses to see where our prices are going at the end of the year. A mere two months ago, record cold decimates the French vineyards. But France recently marked the hottest post-war day, June, since World War II. Two months ago, heavy rains turned U.S. cornfields into lakes. Today, droughts across same areas. Florida has gone from drought into abundant rainfall within two months. Grain prices are at their highest in three years, although we're told globally it's the best harvest ever. We Australia down 40% from last year. California record almonds from the record rain. And why is nobody talking about galactic cosmic rays? Oh yeah, these 19 astrophysicists and scientists are. The more galactic cosmic rays, the more these strange weather patterns we're going to see. And it's going to be increasing 19% over this next solar cycle.